So, look at that, look at that, what a beach. You find me in today's video in, can't believe I'm saying this, North Wales. <laughs> I'm abroad, I'm abroad guys. Um, oh, it's a delight to be back. Um, this place is really special to me, um, especially where my photography is concerned. I spent a hell of a lot of time here last year more time than I did in the Lake District, which is saying something, and I just absolutely love it. So, um, I'm in sort of North West Wales, um, at a peninsula called Clen Peninsula, a fantastic spot for coastal photography. Now that beach that I've just shown you there is called Porth Ore or Whistling Sands in English, it's called Whistling Sands, because apparently when you walk on the sand, it makes a bit of a whistling noise, and uh, can't photograph that. <laughs> Um, but no, it's it's beautiful as you've just seen, but it's um, it's quite a popular beach, you know There's a National Trust car park you saw me parking at at the start of the video and it just gets busy Even at this time of night. I'm out for the sunset and uh, I Just prefer like Finding somewhere where I can just be by myself. I enjoy that um, serenity and calm mindfulness of being by yourself with your camera that's what appeals to me um, but anyway a little bit further along this coast there's another beach it's more of a cove or a big cove that's called um it's called porth yago i believe and uh that looks like a lot more down my street a little bit um a little bit more isolated basically it's harder to get to you got to walk um, down this coastal path a little bit but keeping the fingers crossed as always with some nice photography um, it's looking like we're gonna get a good sunset and this is just a stunning stunning part of the world and it is an absolute privilege and a pleasure to be back in beautiful Cymru <laughs> Oh man, so this is class. Um, amazing, like, so I just wanted to kind of show you, I don't know, I guess how I figured out where I was gonna go this evening. This beach here is the Whistling Sands Beach, the beach, the one that I was just telling you about a second ago. All I've done is found this beach, looked on my OS maps on the blower, on my View Ranger app, uh, followed the OS maps down the coast and just seen that there was loads of other little coves, uh, sort of rocks sitting out into the sea, um, yeah, like rock formations, beautiful sea cliffs, and I've come, honestly, it's only took me about 10, maybe 15 minutes to come from that beach, which even looking now, quarter to eight at night, it's pretty busy, like I wouldn't want to be doing any photography down there, that's just me. I've come here and it's dead, there's nobody here, and it's, it's as, if not, it, it's as nice as that beach, if not more beautiful. So we've got all these beautiful rock formations to play with here. I'm not even at the other beach that I wanted to get to yet, but I'm going to stop here and grab a, um, a couple of photographs because this is looking absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Um, so I'm going to get down here and get set up. It's, uh, it's a little bit precarious. I have, definitely have to be a bit careful um, in all seriousness because it's, it's fairly steep on these cliffs. But we're getting some beautiful views back down the coast here um, in a southerly direction. And we've got the, the sun obviously setting in the west there. So hopefully we should be getting some nice side light as well. So let's get down there and get set up. See at the 
So, let me start off by apologising for your position though, it's a little bit awkward. Um, but that's been the story of this photograph and trying to get this composition. Awkward. Um, it's just a bit dodgy where I'm stood, you know, all these jaggedy rocks. Obviously I've got to be really careful, that's my priority. Um, but I finally got there and I think the photograph that I'm getting is completely different to what I had in my head when I first got down here, which is uh, really cool, you know. It's been quite an interesting thought process. Um, so, I'll start off by telling you what I initially wanted to do. I wanted this pe peninsula here, this little bit of landmass in the photograph, naturally when I first got here. Um, I wanted him on the left hand side, and then all I was trying to do was um, try and figure out some sort of balance. So I wanted to maybe get some of these rocks on the right hand side of the frame, maybe some of these jaggedy rocks that I'm stood on, you know, get really close with the wide angle lens, but I just couldn't figure figure out the right balance that's what it was all about it felt very left heavy because that was quite a prominent feature within the photograph so I had to kind of like sack the idea off get it out of my head um, and I'm taking an image here that's completely different really <laughs> uh, but I think it's gonna be class you know I love this type of photography um, I feel so excited it fills me with inspiration knowing that you know I found this beach did a little bit of research or I've been to this beach before in the past I knew it was nice around here but then I've just looked on my OS maps and I've found all this and I'm taking a photograph here that no one's probably ever taken in their lives and to me it's all about that kind of exploration that comes before the actual taking of the photograph, if that makes sense. That's something that really inspires me. Um, I absolutely love that. Um, so it's a long exposure. I've been saying that I've been wanting to do that a lot more recently. So first things first, I've got my 10 stop Nissi neutral density filter on the front which is giving me an exposure time of one minute and that's pretty much making this photograph it looks really really cool we're getting that gorgeous long exposure effect that sort of milky water in the foreground or well, it's actually in the mid ground in this particular photograph and um, the lights awesome we've got these kind of like wispy high clouds I'm feeling um, optimistic for the sunset but what they're doing is kind of giving us this nice diffuse light um, on our scene here which is just amazing this like really soft light um, it is absolute top draw. So you can see I'm in portrait dimension here. I was trying landscape orientation and uh, it just wasn't quite working, but this is cool. And all I've got, it's nice and simple. I've got a few of these jaggedy rocks in the foreground, which are absolutely gorgeous, by the way. All different colours of yellows and oranges. I think I might even have a little bit of purple sea thrift in there as well, some wild coastal flowers. And then you see all these, like this collection of rocks in the sea. Um, they're kind of in my mid-ground like I said and that's where the long exposure effect really comes into its own and um, it's capturing all the movement in that water and it's like um, this kind of like silver I don't know mid-ground you're gonna see the photograph in a, in a minute as well it is absolutely beautiful just this kind of like the whole mid-ground is just this this like silver I don't know what to, to call it it looks like ice or something you know what the long exposure effect does and then capturing a little bit of movement in the sky as well, um, which is just adding to it. It looks really, really cool. Um, so yeah, one minute exposure, F14 and ISO 100. I've focused on some of these jaggedy rocks in the foreground. I'm not gonna focus stack or anything like that. Um, shooting at F14, the focus is even enough throughout the image. Um, this is the main thing that I want in focus anyway. But yeah, something completely different than what I first anticipated, but, I think it's going to be really, really nice and definitely, um, yeah, something that wasn't expected at all. So I'll show you that now and then I'm going to get over, I'm going to try and get over to that other um, cove or small beach area um, that I told you about at the start. Because I think, like I said, fingers crossed, it's looking like we're gonna, we might get a nice sunset. Thank you. 
just wanted to stop here and show you like this place uh, absolutely beautiful um this is way better than i expected the, the, it feels like there's um photography worthy spots the whole length of this coastline the first beach basically about where i parked my car is all the way back there in your top um left corner right corner i don't know um it's amazing get a look at the water it's like turquoise you've got lots of sort of wild flowers here on the floor i actually just took a quick handheld snapshot um i'll pop it up on the screen just before i get going i'm quite close i think <laughs> to my cove the lights change as you can probably tell we haven't got any light now um it's gone behind a load of cloud but something's telling me to keep going i think a lot of the cloud is high cloud it's still quite wispy like it was before and don't quote me on this we'll see um, in a few minutes but it feels like it might be one of them where you get a nice sunset after the actual sunset time uh, maybe 10 20 minutes after so i'm gonna chance it i've got i've got nothing to lose i might as well stick around um fingers crossed we get something let's crack on so i have to be honest about this one <laughs> i am a little bit late i think i spent too long at the first location where i want to be it's a bit further down the coastline here that uh cove that i was on about it's about 15 minutes to the sunset i don't think it's worth legging it around there now not much is going on with the light as well um, I think I might just kick about here, see if I can get one last photograph. If I'm being honest, I think I'd like to get a similar image to the last photo, uh, the first photograph that I got, if I showed you that wildflower one then. Um, I love the long exposure effect looking out to sea. Um, on top of that, there might, it looks like there's a few people kicking about up there. I think the campsite. What time are we at really though? Let me try and give you this. We are about 10 or 11 minutes till the actual sunset, so I'm definitely going to wait around. See if something happens with the light. Oh, so we're set up and oh, I was completely wrong about the light as I so often am and as we all so often are as landscape photographers my excuse always is it wouldn't be exciting if we could just predict the light but however I think, I think that is true you know I stand by that um so this is going to be quite a similar photograph to my first image but I don't mind that you know I didn't expect to get loads of different types of images today um, I want to capture photographs that tell the story of this coastal, this gorgeous coastal location. This is another one that's doing that. Um, in terms of the composition, I've managed to get a little bit more of a left-right balance. I'm shooting that peninsula off in the background, um, in comparison to my first photograph, I should say. I've got that same peninsula in the background that I wanted to photograph, but I've managed to get a little bit of foreground um, because I've got my Takina 11 to 16 on, because I'm shooting at 11mm, it's obviously really ultra wide. So I'm getting a little bit of this cliff here in the foreground, as well as that peninsula. So it's kind of balancing it out a little bit more. Um, yeah, we haven't got any light at all. <laughs> I've stuck my six stop Nissi ND filter on, which is giving me a, an exposure time of one minute, which is about the same as my first image at F9. ISO 100, so it's capturing all the movement in the water and the clouds given us that beautiful effect again. Um, I hope you like this photograph. <laughs> So I'm just filming this on my phone, sorry guys, it's probably really rubbish quality. It's super dark now, it's got dark really, really quickly. And uh, I haven't got the old head torch with me, so I need to get a bit of a wobble on. Um, fantastic return back to the stunning North Wales. I absolutely adore this place. Like I said at the beginning, it means a lot to me. Um, 
and it, I have not been let down. It was worth the wait, let's put it that way. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for tuning in. Oh, absolute quality, what an adventure. And as always, thank you so much for the support. It's always massively appreciated. You guys know that. Um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one. Out. <laughs>